Hello dear students, a warm welcome to all of you in the discussions of the quick solutions of the All India Cast Test Series Medical 2020. We will be discussing the test number 7, specifically the code A and B for the OYM batch. Dear students, let us proceed to the first question of the test. Question number 1 says that two small objects of equal masses are separated by some distance r. If the mass of one object is doubled, while the mass of other is halved, then the separation between them such that the gravitational force between them become half of initial value is. Dear students, from the Newton's law of gravitation we can write down that force between two masses is equal to g m1 m2 by r square where m1 and m2 are masses while r is the distance of the separation between the masses. Now dear students, it is given that the mass of one object is doubled while the mass of other is halved which means that m1 becomes half while m2 becomes double. The force now at a distance of r can be written as shown in the equation. We can see that these two cancels out and the force remains same as before. So dear students, we have to now find out that the separation between them such that the gravitational force between them becomes half of the initial value. We can see that force is inversely proportional to r square. That is, if r becomes double, then the force becomes one fourth of the initial value. And dear students, we can also say that if r becomes root two times of its initial value, then the force would be half of its initial value. Which means that for this question, option number 4 is the correct answer. Now let us proceed to the question number 2. Question number 2 says, the period of revolution of a satellite around a planet in an orbit of radius 3 r is t. If the period of revolution in an orbit of radius 9 r will be. Dear students, from Kepler's law, we can write down that square of the time period will be proportional to the cube root of the radius of the orbit. We can therefore write that t1 by t2 whole square will be equal to r1 by r2 to the power 3. Dear students, therefore we can also write that t2 will be equal to t1 into r2 by r1 to the power 3 by 2. We can see that in the question it is given that the initial radius is 3r while the final radius is 9r. We can write down that the final time period T2 will be equal to T multiplied by 9R by 3R to the power 3 by 2 and this will be equal to T into 3 to the power 3 by 2 and this will be equal to 3 root 3 multiplied by T. Dear students, this means that option number 3 for this question is the correct answer. Now let us discuss the question number 3. Question number 3 says, the weight of a person is W at the surface of earth. At what height from the surface of earth, the weight reduces by 36%. It is given that R is the radius of earth. Dear students, the weight of a person can be written as M multiplied by G dash, where G dash is the effective acceleration due to gravity. At a height H from the surface of the earth, G can be written as G into capital M divided by R plus H square where capital M is the mass of the earth. Dear students, this can be further written as M into small g into capital R square divided by R plus H square. A g is the acceleration due to gravity on the earth's surface. Dear students, this will be the weight of man on the surface of earth. We have to find the value of H such that the weight has reduced by 36% that is this particular weight should be 64% of the weight on the surface of earth. Therefore, we can write that 64 by 100 mg should be equal to mg multiplied by r square divided by r plus h square. Dear students, taking the square root on both the sides, we can write down that r will be equal to 8 by 10 into r plus h. On solving this expression, we can find out the value of h to be equal to r by 4. Therefore, dear students, 
The answer for this particular question is option number 2. Now let us proceed and discuss the next question which is question number 4. Question number 4 says the minimum energy required to slowly move a stationary body of mass m from a height which is from the surface of earth of 2r to 4r is. It is given that capital M and capital R are mass and radius of earth. Dear student, to slowly move a stationary body, the potential energy that would required to be changed would be final potential minus initial potential energy. We must note that there would be no kinetic energy change as the body is being moved slowly. So the net energy change would be equal to the energy change in the potential energy. Now dear students, at a height of 4r from the surface, the distance of the body from the center of earth would be 5r and hence final potential energy can be written as g into small m into capital M by 5r. The initial height of the body from the surface is 2r which means that its distance from the center of earth would be 3r. Therefore, we can write that the initial potential energy would be g small m capital M by 3r. Dear students, this will be equal to the change in potential energy and on solving we find the value of this to be equal to g small m into capital M by 15r which means option number 1 for this question is the correct answer. Now let us discuss the question number 5. Question 5 says the ratio of masses and the radii of two planets are 3 is to 2 and 5 is to 6 respectively. The ratio of respective escape speeds from the surfaces will be. Dear students, the formula for escape speed that is VE is equal to under root gm by r into 2. Now dear students, here m is the mass of the planet and r is the radius of the planet. Therefore, we can see that VE1 by VE2 that is ratio of the escape speeds from these planets would be equal to under root of m1 by m2 into r2 by r1. It is given that the ratio of masses is 3 is to 2. So we can substitute m1 by m2 as 3 by 2 and the ratio of the radii is 5 is to 6. So we can also substitute 5 by 6 here. We must note that the ratio here is r1 by r2 so we substitute 6 by 5. On solving this expression dear students we get a value of under root 9 by 5 that will be equal to 3 ratio root 5 which means that option number 2 of this question turns out to be our correct answer. Now let us proceed to question number 6. 